Rumors are swirling in the photography world about Canon's upcoming release, the highly anticipated EOS R7 Mark II mirrorless camera. Photographers are eagerly awaiting this potential game-changer in the industry. The original Canon EOS R7, released in late 2022, was an immediate hit among enthusiast photographers and solidified Canon's commitment to its APS-C mirrorless lineup. Its 32.5MP sensor delivered excellent image quality with great detail rendering thanks to the lack of an optical low-pass filter. The dual-pixel CMOS AF2 autofocus system provided fast, accurate subject tracking that beautifully complemented the camera's blistering 15 frames per second burst shooting capabilities with the electronic shutter. The APS-C crop factor also proved invaluable for wildlife and sports photographers, effectively increasing the reach of their existing EF and RF lenses. Despite being a highly capable all-around photographic tool, the rumored Mark II version promises to push performance even further. Perhaps the most talked about potential upgrade is a significant boost in sensor resolution. While the original's 32.5 MP was more than enough for most purposes, some reports suggest the Mark II could jump all the way up to around 45 megapixels or even higher into the 50 MP plus range. This kind of resolution increase could be revolutionary for landscape, product, macro and architectural photographers, enabling them to capture an incredible level of detail in their images. It could allow for much more flexibility in cropping and massively increase potential print sizes while still rendering every subtle texture, pattern and nuance found in their subjects. Having this amount of resolution in an APS-C body could actually provide a serious advantage over full-frame cameras in terms of outright detail rendering and acuity. For action and sports photographers who need extreme speed capabilities, the biggest draw may be an even faster maximum burst rate than the already impressive 15 frames per second of the original model. Some rumors point to the possibility of up to an incredible 30 frames per second burst shooting with the electronic shutter and static autofocus exposure settings. Other reports go even further, suggesting techniques like focus bracketing could allow for bursts exceeding 60 frames per second for brief periods. This kind of blazing speed could make it possible to capture entire sequences of fast action like a runner's stride, a boxer's punch combinations, or a tennis player's serve in perfect clarity without any of the telltale artifacts of rolling shutter distortion found in many electronic shutters. Buffer capacity and performance is also expected to take a major leap forward with the R7 Mark II. The original could shoot around 120 JPEGs or 30 raw files in a burst before filling the buffer and having to pause shooting. But the Mark II is speculated to have a vastly deeper buffer capable of handling anywhere from 500-1000 consecutive frames depending on file type. This would be a massive advantage for wildlife photographers lying in wait for that perfect moment when an animal goes into motion, allowing them to capture every split second of the action without any hesitation or lockups. It could also prove invaluable for shooting relatively mundane scenes that suddenly become dynamic, like a child playing or an athlete attempting a difficult move. However, the rumor mill certainly isn't just focused on imaging performance. Many photographers, particularly those who use larger telephoto or pro-grade lenses, are eager for ergonomic refinements to the R7's body design. Potential improvements could include a more pronounced grip with deeper contouring to better accommodate the pinky finger. A redesigned rear control layout optimized for different shooting positions could also be on the table. And perhaps most anticipated is an integrated vertical shooting grip position, either in the form of a rotating grip or an optional battery grip style extension, to dramatically improve handling for extended periods of shooting with larger lenses mounted. Weather sealing enhancements to fully protect against dust and moisture ingress in harsh environments are also high on many wish lists. On the video front, speculations include the ability to capture uncropped 4K 60p video using the full sensor width with no crop factor, a huge improvement over the original R7's heavy 1.6x crop that severely limited lens options. Some even suggest the possibility of 8K capture to future-proof the camera's video skills and allow supremely high-quality oversampled 4K output. 
Upgraded codecs like 10-bit for colon 2 colon 2 color with an all inter option could be in the cards, as well as the ability to output over HDMI to external recorders in formats like ProRes RAW. These video enhancements could potentially make the R7 Mark II a true hybrid stills a video powerhouse suitable for professional production needs. Under the hood, while the original used a conventional frontside illuminated CMOS sensor, there are rumblings that the Mark II could feature a stacked BSI CMOS chip. This advanced sensor design could provide far faster readout speeds to virtually eliminate rolling shutter artifacts and greatly boost low light performance, dynamic range, and autofocus capabilities by allowing faster scanning of pixels. Paired with the latest DigiX processor, this cutting-edge sensor tech could make the R7 Mark II a low-light monster capable of incredibly clean images at very high ISOs with minimal noise. On the power and durability side, while the original R7 had good battery life for its class rated at around 770 shots, many photographers who push their gear to the limits hope the Mark II will get its own truly pro-grade battery pack with dramatically improved longevity between charges, potentially around 50 to 100% more capacity. This would be a tremendous advantage for those who need to maximize every shooting opportunity, allowing them to spend less time swapping batteries and more time behind the viewfinder, especially when working in remote locations far from power sources. Improved weather sealing and a more ruggedly built magnesium alloy chassis is also expected to ensure the R7 Mark II can truly withstand the rigors of professional use in harsh conditions like dusty deserts or freezing temperatures. With Canon's EOS R lineup expanding so rapidly in recent years, from the high-resolution R5 to the new affordable RP model and the flagship R1 on the horizon, some speculate the R7 Mark II could mark a change in the naming strategy. Perhaps it will be branded as the R8, R9, or even given an entirely new line designation like the RX series to better differentiate it from its predecessor and position it as a more capable performance-oriented flagship APS-C body. Only time will tell what new mirrorless surprises Canon's engineers have in store. While these rumors about the Canon EOS R7 Mark II remain unconfirmed, there is undoubtedly tremendous buzz and eager anticipation building around this camera's potential upgrades and cutting-edge capabilities. If Canon can deliver on even a portion of the speculated features, IT would represent a monumental achievement, ushering in a new era of extreme resolution, speed, and low-light prowess scaled into a portable, affordable APS-C format. The photography community is watching with bated breath, as this camera could genuinely revolutionize what's possible with crop sensor imaging technology. All eyes are on Canon to see if the R7 Mark II will live up to the hype and set a new standard for APS-C performance that will leave competitors scrambling to catch up. This could be the camera that shatters preconceived notions about the limits of what's achievable in a lightweight, compact body. The potential seems limitless, and photographers worldwide are hopeful that Canon will deliver a true imaging masterpiece, 